Planet of the Fakes and Pig Star HH News. Video shows healthcare staff punching, beating disabled man with belt. Investigation found at least five employees at the mental health facility, beat a man, and allowed other patients to join in, Gordon, Georgia. The family of a mentally disabled, Georgia man has released video showing their loved one being repeatedly beaten by staff hired to care for him. Brian Gerard, the family's attorney, said the family wanted to release video of the 2013 incident now to warn the public that neglect is happening at facilities all across Georgia. These are some of our most weakest, our most vulnerable citizens. So, it is important to know and watch and to see when they ray not being cared for appropriately, said Gerard. The Macon attorney represents 55-year-old Joey Casson. When Casson's family could no longer care for him, they admitted him into Total Care, a facility in Gordon, Georgia, licensed to care for the developmentally disabled. Physically, he is not disabled. He is able to function physically, but he is severely mentally disabled, explained Gerard. Surveillance video recorded on November 7, 2013, shows staff repeatedly hitting Casson with belts, punching him on the ground, and allowing other residents to hit him. At one point, staff appears to be taunting Casson with food and laughing at him. Related claims of abuse, neglect on the rise at state licensed mental health providers, records show. I think anybody would find the video despicable, said Gerard. It was heartbreaking. It made me angry to think of individuals who were being paid to care for him were engaged in just despicable abuse. Gordon police charged a caretaker named Shakia Smith with battery and abuse slash neglect of an elder person. Gerard said the case against the former facility owner is still pending. Carson is now at a different facility in South Georgia and is doing well, Gerard said. The Georgia Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities revoked the facility's license after an investigation. Total Care's former owner, Pamela Reeves, declined to comment about the pending litigation. Her attorney, Wayne Kendall, did not return follow-up questions sent by email. Like, follow, comment, share, subscribe, then visit www.amr-eka.com.